We are having a showdown today with the amazing indirect Ellen Chrome Light Motive modifier and the very affordable Impact Parabolic Umbrella. We are going to use an amazing subject, same light, same water, same position, everything the same, and we're going to see how these two compare. Hey love, I'm Gia Goodrich and welcome back to my YouTube channel that's all about helping you master photography. And today I'm joined by the amazing Kaya Rivoli, who is a young, talented, amazing, wonderful model who's going to help us discern whether or not you should be paying $1,400 for the amazingly sexy, wonderful Ellen Chrome light modifier versus the $100 you could spend on the Impact Parabolic Umbrella and Diffusion Panels. But first, if you haven't already taken a minute to subscribe to my channel, just click the box here and be sure to ding the bell so you get notifications because every week I bring you new content that is designed to make you the most badass of the most badassery photographer Peeps. First up is one of my favorite light modifiers on the planet, the Ellen Chrome Light Motive Indirect Octabox. Clocking in at $1,420, it is the beast, the aspirational beacon, the thing that all photographers drool over. I have two. Yes, queen. But we're gonna find out if it's actually worth the money in comparison to the Impact 7 foot parabolic umbrella. Clocking in at $59. That price feels good. I honestly don't know the difference between these two lights in terms of the quality. I've never matched them together before. So you're gonna find out, same as me, and then I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really excited about it. The Ellen Chrome is a full stop, so I'm gonna double it up. This, you can see, is pretty translucent. There we go. So now if you look at these side by side, they look pretty much nothing alike. But maybe if you squeeze your eyes. I'm also gonna shoot on a tripod, well, camera stand tripod, potato potato, to make sure that my frame isn't moving. I'm gonna make a picture. And because we have the light feather, there aren't any harsh highlights. Everything looks pretty soft, pretty beautiful. What I would totally expect from an Ellen Chrome. That's what it does. That's what I love. That's why I have two. Let's see what the impact light does. Move this one in. By feathering it, I'm just rotating it, angling it towards a person who would be in front of her as opposed to directly on her. All right, so let's see now. Oh, the stress, the tension, the questioning. Whoa, okay, okay, a little bit of difference. So the big thing that I see is the exposure is different. This is cutting a lot less light. So if I take a look, what it would be getting it to a similar exposure. Also, the there's a lot more magenta coming through, which is interesting. So the one adjustment I'm gonna try to make to really see if we can get it close to the same is that it seems like she's getting a lot more of the bulb. So I'm gonna feather it even more than I did for the Ellen Chrome and see if we can get that closer. Ah, oh, wow, hmm, okay. It's hard because I'm trying to formulate, there, there is a significant difference. Do I think the difference is worth $1,300? Like that's a different question. But the impact light definitely doesn't have the same soft fall off. With the Ellen Chrome light motive, the, it's more as if there's a really soft wall of light coming across her, and so you'll notice there's softer transition between where she's illuminated and where it starts to fall the shadow. And the shadows are also aren't as deep as in the, the impact light. Now the impact light, you definitely see more texture on the skin. It's operating as more of a less diffused light source. Yeah, so I mean, it's not as beautiful, but it's not miles away. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just to really see the difference. I'm, I'm gonna try one other thing. I'm gonna try scooting the impact light just a tiny bit closer because what I can tell in the highlight in her eyes is that the impact light appears to be a smaller light source further away. And so I'm wondering if I scoot it closer, if we can get it a little bit closer to each other. So let's try this one last thing. Oh, how you doing? I am low-key impressed by the impact. I really am. 
once I brought the light source in close enough so it was really comparable, I mean, y'all, it's pretty impressive how close they are. I definitely feel like the Ellen Chrome is higher quality light. You can tell it in the way it feels, the way it moves, and and you can see it in the picture, the way the light just in the transitions, when you really get into it, it's just a way better light. You would expect that for $1,400, but the surprise swoop in smack me across the face, but I like it, is the impact light that just came through $100. You could even throw another layer of diffusion on there for an extra $25, so what, $125? And have a light that is getting you 98% of the way there. I mean, shook, surprised, excited. I am just like, wow, people should really go out here and buy this. All right, so I'll have links to everything below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you feel like the Ellen Chrome is really worth its weight in gold? Or are you kind of like, mm, not so impressed anymore, boo boo? Ding, 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 Ellen Chrome is the winner. <laughs> Although, I mean, whew, swooping in a close second is obviously impact. I would highly recommend it if you are not in a position to buy an Ellen Chrome light motive. Like, it is so close. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to comment down below because we want to know which one you really thought should have won. Bye! Bye. You're gonna relight this. In here, I have a Pro Photo E head. We're gonna use the same head. Cute. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, so we already shot that. Same light, same water. No. Is there anything else? Okay, good. We're done. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, let's move on. <laughs>